Tere tulemast Opus Studiosse vaatama Opus TV esimest saadet. Meil on jär- järgnematel nädalatel plaanis tutvustada erinevaid artiste, kes Tallinn Music Weegi folktroonika laval 28. augustil astuvad fotografiskas ülesse. Ja esimese külalisena on meil üle videosilla otse Soomest. Ilka Heinonen, kes mängib, mängib hiu kannelt ning õige pea tutustab ta juba ka lähemalt, siis kuidas tema, kuidas tema oma muusikat loob ja räägib oma taustast ka. Hi Ilka! Hello! Glad to have you in our show as, as the first guest and um, I would like to ask you... Um, What's your background in, in music and, and all in all? Thanks for inviting here. Uh, my background is quite basic, studying, well, now already almost 20 years in Finnish, uh, Finnish uh, music universities. Now, last 18 years in Sibelius Academy in Helsinki, studying double bass but not in fact this instrument, Jouhikka. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, besides uh, studying and your background, what's your main focus or what do you do? I'm a mostly freelancer musician playing, well, world music, also uh, early music like Baroque and Renaissance stuff with well, Jouhikko and also as I'm a trained double bass player with double bass and uh, different size of Viro da Gambas also. It's, it sounds uh, pretty awesome and you showed your instrument as well. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, this uh, Jouhiko that you're, that you're playing? Yeah, the Jouhiko uh, yeah, or in English Finnish boat lyre or you could say Estonian boat lyre because there are two places in the world where this strange instrument was continued continue to play. One was uh, in Karelia in Eastern Finland and Western Russia and then another place was in Estonia. Uh, it's both instrument with uh, this has gut strings but they also have horsehair strings and played mostly dance music for the rural people. So can we figure that at uh, Tallinn Music Week you're going to also play dance music with your Yohiko or you have something else in mind? Yeah, yeah, like the tradition never sleeps and if it sleeps and it, when it's dead it will be in museums but now we are in the live concert so you will hear uh, well dance music which is based to Karelian traditional melodies also um, some tastes from renaissance music with just enhanced slightly bit or even more with electronics mm-hmm. so uh, could you give us an example of of this uh, how, how does it sound yes you will hear now let's hear yes the instrument have nice light here the bow, in fact, is not a traditional bow. It's a uh, Renaissance the viola, the gamba bow, or viola bow, like they say in English. <laughs> That was that was pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Of uh, all the instruments in the world, how did you end up uh, playing Yohiko? Yeah, it was it was weird for me also. Uh, I was studying da- classical double bass playing and playing in folk music bands somewhere 
in the beginning of millennium. And uh, when my friend had this strange instrument, I tried it. Oh, it's so harsh and strange sound that I'd never heard anything like that before. So I said, how could I loan it? And so then I loaned the instrument and started playing that like every night. Daytime I was going to the classical concerts playing and practicing and evening when I wanted to relax. I I took my yogiko and played it. And it it stayed like that and then occupied all the everything else from around and now I'm mostly playing yogiko. So it seems to me that uh, you've uh, you've been uh, struck by yogiko fever. Yeah, definitely and <laughs> Fortunately, it's not at, as deadly as COVID, but as it has been, it has been quite quite deep effect on me. Okay, uh, so um, uh, you mentioned that your uh, freelance musician has uh, COVID situation affected you in in positive uh, ways or negative ways. Both. Uh, of course, it's horrible to lose all the gig possibilities and especially be in contact with the audience. I guess that's the, that's the most difficult thing with every performer. Uh, but uh, also on the other hand, uh, I'm doing uh, doctoral research in the Belgian Academy, so I've been enjoying writing and planning and recording music in my own workshop. So I guess there will be quite a few CD, uh, not CDs nowadays, but quite a few recordings coming out next autumn or winter, I guess, like there have been very active people, rec people have been very actively recording now last four months, I believe, and say with me that there has, it has been nice time for concentrate on making music and do some research on music. Yeah, I guess you would say that it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, um, whom do you, uh, would you expect to come and see you at Tallinn Music Week? Uh, I would say, um, I would believe that my performer performance would interest uh, people who are interested, of course, world music and traditional music, who are maybe organizing clubs or events, or maybe agents who are maybe searching new new approaches to um, world music and traditional music and maybe early music, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, and in in any case, like people who are interested, what's happening in how would I say uh, archaic modern sound yep. in world and traditional music. Uh, that's what uh, that's what we're trying to create with uh, Folktronica stage. So we're uh, really happy that. Uh, that you have the time and uh, opportunity to uh, come to Tallinn Music Week. Thank you, Ilka, for uh, joining us uh, today. And uh, we're going to be seeing you on the 28th of August at Tallinn Music Week. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Nii, et uh, kellel veel jäi see info kuulmata, siis uh, Folktroonika laval 28. augustil saate näha Ilka Heinonini ja ka teisi suurepärased artiste, kes astuvad üles siis fotograafiskas. Mm -hmm.